Hey everybody, so I had to move locations because it is raining outside and the corner where my bookshelf is has absolutely no lighting at all because it's in the corner. As you can see, that dark shadow right there. Yeah, so anyways, enough explaining about that. So this will be my TBR for July. It consists of not only books that I just plan on reading because I feel like it, I'm also going to be talking about what books I'm planning on reading for the Booktubeathon. So yes, which was created by, forget her name, by Petfoot and Prongs and Ariel from Ariel, Ariel Bissett. And they created this readathon that's going to be happening, I believe, July 15th through the 22nd, I want to say. And so there are seven challenges that go along with the readathon. If you want to do them, you don't have to do them, but you can if you want. First, I'm going to go over the books that I'm already in the middle of reading for this month, and those are Ink by Amanda Sun. I am I am on chapter 8, page 137. Don't know how I feel about this book so far. Actually, these markers here mark things that annoy me in this book, and that's not a good thing when I'm actually marking stuff that I know I want to discuss as far as what's annoying me about this book. So we'll have to see. So that's the first one. Then I thought it has been a really, really, really long time since I've read a book in this series and I figured it is about time that I continue on with this particular one. And so I decided to start reading City of Fallen Angels by Cassandra Clare. This is book four in the Mortal Instruments series. I am on chapter four. Page 69. I literally started this last night. Really enjoying this book so far. I already like how it involves a character that was in the Infernal Devices series, so I cannot wait to see where this book goes. So, yeah. Then the other book that has nothing to do with the readathon that I know I'll get to eventually at some point this month is The Hunt by Andrew Fukuda. This is the book choice for the book club that was started by Katie and Greg. So I will definitely be getting to this one soon. It sounds really interesting. The rest of the books I have here are kind of having to do with the readathon. So I'll just go through the challenges that go along with it and say, you know, which books I plan on reading for it. The first challenge is to read an average of 300 pages a day. I'm actually on vacation from the 12th to the 17th, so I will have the 15th through the 17th to do a lot of reading, so I plan on actually reading more than 300 pages in those days because I have a feeling right after that I'll probably only be able to read on average 150, so we'll have to see. I'm going to try and do the 300 a day, but that's the only challenge that I'm thinking is most likely not going to happen. And then challenge two is to read a book with over 500 pages. And I'm pretty sure I've already discussed with you guys what book that would be. And that book is Tatiana and Alexander by Paulina Simons. This is book two in the Bronze Horseman trilogy. Yes, definitely. Yes, 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 yes. It is nowhere near as big as the first book. The first one was 810 pages, while in this one's only 559 pages. Ah, I cannot wait to get to this book. Ah, yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm excited for this one. Challenge three is to reread a book, and the book that I chose to reread is Delirium by Lauren Oliver. The reason I need to reread this is because I do not remember at all what happened in this book series, and I would like to complete the trilogy, so yes, I need to reread it. Challenge four is to finish a series or trilogy. At first, I thought, okay, I'll reread Delirium and then finish the trilogy. I'll read Pandemonium and then Requiem, um, but I don't own Requiem, and I won't and I really don't want to get it until it comes out in paperback, so instead, I decided to complete a series that I just started in June, and I know I'm going to love, and they're really quick, so for a readathon, I think it will be a really good series to finish. And so I decided to continue on in the Percy Jackson series. So I'm going to read The Titan's Curse, The Battle of the Labyrinth, and then The Last Olympian. Challenge number five is to read a book that's been on your shelf forever. So what I did to figure that out, because I don't know exactly when I buy books, some of the books that I've bought recently I look on my shelf and think man I must have purchased that a long time ago but then I look back on my videos and it wasn't that long ago so what I did was I went back all the way to one of my very very first book hauls and did not realize that 
I bought this book so long ago, I seriously thought it was more recent than that. And that one is The Archived by Victoria Schwab. I've had this on my shelf since January. Did not know that. Did not know that. And this book was either in my first haul or my second haul. So I'm going to read this because I've heard nothing but wonderful things about it and I'm always looking at it and thinking I should read this next, I should read this next. So this time I will. Challenge number six is to listen to an audiobook. This is another one of those challenges where I'm not sure if I'll actually finish it because I've never listened to an audiobook. I don't know how I'll feel about it when I start it. The audiobook that I chose to listen to is Witch and Wizard by James Patterson. This is the physical copy, obviously. I have had this book on my shelf for a long time as well, so technically I could make this a two-in-one challenge and listen to a book that's been on my shelf forever. The reason I chose this one, it was a lot cheaper to purchase than a lot of the other audiobooks. I never realized how expensive audiobooks are in comparison to the actual books. So also didn't know until I purchased it that there are two narrators to the audiobook. The woman, I don't know who it is, but the guy that narrates is actually Elijah Wood. So that's pretty awesome, I think, to listen to an audiobook with Elijah Wood playing the main male lead. That's going to be fun. So we'll see how I feel about that. And then finally, the last challenge is to read a classic. So I decided to kill two birds with one stone. And finally, 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 for the readathon, I'm going to make myself read this. And that is The Handmaid's Tale by Margaret Atwood. Don't know if this is considered a classic, but it looks old. So I'm going to consider it a classic. And this was on my TBR jar for the last two months. I'm making it a challenge for myself. Don't know why, I just keep putting this down. But yes, this is my classic pick for the readathon, and I will get to it. I will. Other than that, I'm going to pick whatever books I feel like. I'm not going to pick from my TBR jar, solely on the fact that I really didn't read any of the ones that I picked from last month, with the exception of Throne of Glass. So hopefully I will read this one, which was in my TBR jar, and then maybe get to the other two. But we'll have to see. So yeah, those are the books I'll be reading in July. What are you all reading this month? Let me know. Leave a comment down below, and I'll talk to you later.